So uh, as a result of the so-called uh, uh, suicide of Epstein, I'm just curious of what they were doing on, uh, you know, fake news at CNN and turned it over. I, I, that's the only time I ever turn on CNN is just for, you know, kicks <laughs> once in a while. And it just so happened that instead of talking about Epstein, um, they've got this uh, story on a rally down in El Paso. And I just want to preface my remarks. The killings are horrible. This guy deserves to fry. Uh, I'm not in any way, shape, or form defending what he did, but the fake news media is trying to make this about Donald Trump. Notice they're not talking about the Elizabeth Warren shooter. Let's just be fair. If this guy's a Trump shooter, then uh, the shooter in Dayton, Ohio, was a, an Elizabeth Warren Democrat shooter, Right? Right? I mean, we're just being fair about it. So down in El Paso, they've got this rally, and it's basically an anti-Trump rally. And I just want to show you the trickery that they pull at CNN. Here's an example. The national correspondent Natasha Chen is in El Paso with us. And um, Natasha, also right now, we're seeing live pictures of a march taking place. And right out now in look. front is a Democratic presidential candidate, Beto O'Rourke, also resident of El Paso. Tell us more about what's happening. Now, I want to pause it just for a second. Notice the camera angle they are showing you from the front. Why? Because as you watch this, you will see that they are purposely giving camera shots to make it look like this is some huge rally. Whenever it's only about six or seven wide and less than ten deep which would mean there's less than 100 people in that crowd, and I'll even be generous and say there might be 200 people at the most. And that's why you're getting this camera angle from CNN, because they're not interested in giving you reality. It's very fitting that they call their um, programming, programming. <laughs> they, sh they call what they put on TV programming, because that's what it is. It's not real news. It's staged. I guarantee you, somebody has video of them staging this whole thing. Of the cameraman telling him, stand there, hold on, let me get in position. Okay, now I'm going to walk backwards, so you got to walk real slow. And I'm going to get a shot here that makes it look like we've got a big crowd here. Now just keep so watching it. Right in front of this banner right now that you're seeing, that is Beto O'Rourke, of course. See, they will not the show you the crowd. Uh, two people over to his left is uh, a man whose daughter is currently still in the hospital, injured from that shooting. 22 so crosses being here, held. Uh, also holding crosses, as you see. And they don't have many more people than those who are holding crosses. Who were killed in this I'm going to play the whole thing. It's not very long. Is currently marching from a downtown but you notice how they're not the showing you the crowd. That more people will be speaking, including Beto <laughs> uh, The speaker so far Fake have been talking news about unity scripted about this look now look you can see back there pretty well Whoop. but look they're they're trying not to show you the back end of the crowd they don't want you to see the crowd the crowd size this is a moment for them to demonstrate unity in front of the country that's the whole thing that's it that's all they show so i'm telling you and you can go out and see there are other uh, instances of this where uh, the CNN so-called reporters, there's one scene where this guy's interviewing a, another guy and uh, he's all upset about something. And I think it might have been a shooting then. And then Don Lamon, of all people, <laughs> outs the guy. He's a CNN cameraman, <laughs> and the reporter had staged it. And uh, to his credit, Don put him out there on Front Street. And then there's others where you see pictures of them staging these rallies to make them look like there's a huge outcry. 
In a nation of 350 million people, they can't get more than a couple hundred people to rally against Trump. Now, I'm telling you, if this rally would have been about the shooting and a, a, um, a, a rally showing sympathy for the victims, they might have got a good crowd. But it's not. This is an anti-Trump, Beto campaign orchestrated rally. Beto is his fake name. I think his real name's Robert uh, O'Rourke. And the Beto fake join hands with the CNN fake news to make you think there's this huge anti-Trump outcry. It's fake. And most of our uh, viewers and listeners know that. But you can share this with others and help educate people. Turn the garbage off. It's not real news.